I am back from Worlds and from being sick afterwards and we just got the craziest Vanguard news in so long it's blowing my mind. Before that, if you still want a beautiful playmat, check out these two beauties. They have three variants. You have the regular one, then you have the Valentine's edition which is exclusive for this February. Afterwards, they will be gone forever. And then we also have the eSports editions for people who prefer just, you know, the character being all front and center. Go to ZeroDamageGaming.com and use code SOLEM for a discount. Now for the news, first of all, we are getting a new strategy presentation. So if you know or don't know, once in a while, Bushiroad will make like big announcements. The 21st of March, we have Wise, and then the 22nd of March, we will have everything else. So that's like Vanguard, Re for You, and uh, Shadowverse. So we look forward to end of March for this, because it is also usually where we get like new products and ban lists. Then we got some new information for the Messiah deck set. We have the grade 3 right here, Generation Break 2, active if you have two or more phase of G units on your V or G zone. During your turn, if any player has a locked card, this unit gets power plus 10k. Auto, when this card is discarded from hand for the cost of stride, draw a card. Not bad, not bad. Then we have Herbic Claw. If you have a Vanguard with Messiah in its card name, this unit gets shield plus 5k. And auto on R, when your other unit is unlocked, you may put this unit into your soul. Then we have Kaluzar Klein. Cont on R, during your turn, if any player has a locked card, this unit gets power plus 5k. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked if you have an alter ego messiah crest retire this unit look at the top three cards of your deck choose up to one unit card with grade equal to or less than your vanguard put it on open r as a locked card and put the rest on the bottom of your deck so it is like potentially a multi-attack extender then destiny dealer sorry i'm going through these so fast but there's news that i find so much more fucking interesting i'm just blazing through them sorry link joker fans i am really looking forward to this try deck set as well gonna get myself a premium one but yeah there's there's just some crazier news sorry uh continuous in hand while you're paying the cost for stride this card may be discarded as a grade three this is typical we also saw this in the chrono jet and basically every stride grade one discard thing throughout the ages uh, and then act in hand if you have an alter ego messiah crest cost discard this search your deck for up to one grade three card with messiah in its card name reveal it and put it in your hand and if you search your deck shuffle your deck so this basically fixes your persona writing finally we have sacrifice messiah auto on our generation break one active if you have one or more phase up g units in total on your v or g zone at the end of the battle this unit boosts it if you have a Vanguard with Messiah in its card name, log this unit, choose one of your Vanguard, it gets power plus 5k. Then if you have no phase-up cards in your damage zone, counter charge one. So this is just the counter charging that uh, this deck probably wanted. Now, we get to the history collection. This is basically the thing that's currently replacing premium collection, and then it's supposed to kind of replace the V collections as well, but it doesn't really seem to do that. So this will have the gray threes that you stride over from back in G. It will have G Guardians, it will then have a support card, and it will also have grade 3 units that aren't VRs as well as ones that are. So I guess this will have VR reprints, but also non-VR reprints. And then support cards. I'm not sure what support cards means exactly. However, the thing that changes everything is this slide. The old strides from back in the day are getting erratas and then I assume also new prints. And they have new skills that completely change the whole write down mechanic we have been dealing with in premium for a while now. So they are getting the skill act in G zone. If your Vanguard is that specific grade three from back in the day, and if you have not gained an imaginary gift, this fight cost this card, you know, uh, grade three or more, stride this face down card on your Vanguard circle and pay an additional cost, which is a flip one card in your G zone with the same card name as this unit. And then you get two imaginary gifts. So if you rode a original original G grade 3, like in this case alt mile, you can stride instantly. So this makes it so riding down doesn't actually deny stride anymore. Now you might be thinking, hey, but this breaks everything because this means going first is going to be insane again. Not really, because these strides aren't that strong. You get gifts, which is awesome, but certain VR turns are still more impactful than this. But what it does allow you to do is if you are not a ride down deck, you now get your G break skills live and you get your gifts. So you don't have to play the VRs to necessarily keep up. And some of the older cards, which they're also reprinting now, are also getting a buff in power. So if you missed G, you can kind of play like buffed up G now. And if you don't like ride downs, 
you now have a better fighting chance without ride downs. And if you don't like grade 2 gaming, you now don't have to. But at the same time, grade 2 gaming might still be decent because denying the stronger premium collection first strides might still have value. So it's like completely crazy because this is like the most balanced thing they could have done to fix ride down, I guess. Though at the same time, maybe it still needs fixing. I don't know. But what it, it's just adding so many interesting dimensions to premium right now i i just have no words like th this will require a lot of theory crafting and thinking also very interesting is continuous on v you can activate this unit's original when its attack hits even if it did not hit so this these kinds of strides from back in the day they were kind of dog shit right because they, their only skill was oh um if if i hit i now get effect and now you get that effect regardless but those effects still aren't that insane you know like the premium collection strides are still going to be stronger so ideally you still want to first try those it's just that now if you're getting grade 2 game in your deck can't grade 2 game you have another option if your vr isn't super strong you have another option so i'm really liking this like we'll have to test every clan like every clan now is potentially viable because the whole meta can change purely from this change now the other skill is critical triggers now give power plus 10k and have 15k shield and gain the following additional effect auto when this card appears in a damage check draw one so the original crits that went to soul when you were on a specific vanguard now are also draw triggers defensively that is wild that is insane that is so exciting especially because this means if you have sps from back then you can be a little more happy you're like oh okay i, I got my sps from back in the day and, and i can use them again and now they're even better like this is exciting this is too many good ideas now here is a list of the g units that will receive an update in the history collection with the same updates as gablade let's not read all of them i'm just going to blindly assume assume that it's all the on hits from back in the day if that isn't the case i'm sorry uh, that that would be crazy if it's not just the on hits but for now i'm just gonna assume it's the on hits and then finally next week we get the um excelix but overall this has been crazy like the stride deck set honestly this thing is nuts like it's, sorry it's not a stride deck set it's the history collection i'm so hyped for this can you imagine getting to play like your old g cards and they're not gonna suck but then you still have current premium that is also gonna have impact and now you have to choose, like, do I want to ride down? Do I want to ride up with my G card? Do I want to ride up with my VR? Which is better? I don't know. We'll have to test it all. Obviously, these soul crits get way better if you're on the correct Vanguard. You'll get your draw in the damage check regardless from the Vanguard. So, wow. I, I got to think about this. This is crazy. So, that is all for today. Hope you found this very interesting. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you still need a beautiful playmat, this one or this one, ah, go to zerodamagegaming.com. Use the code SOLEM. And I will see you soon. Ciao.